In this video, we will look at the history of album sales and how they are counted for the Billboard 200 albums chart. This week's chart looks like this. Okay, what does this mean? What does this number mean? Does it account for Spotify streams? How about YouTube views? Do those count? I will answer these questions and more in this video. In the older days, when you had to go out and buy records, Billboard would survey record shops across the country for their ranked lists for their best-selling albums of the week and then aggregate it into a list. This method was very prone to manipulations by retailers and labels. On the chart dated 25th of May 1991, Nielsen SoundScan became the official data provider for the Billboard 200. The way SoundScan works is that by scanning barcodes, retailers can produce a list of bestsellers by the actual number of copies instead of ranked lists. The first album to top the charts after this change was Michael Bolton's Time, Love, and Over the years, SoundScan has adapted its technology to consumer trends and eventually tracking digital activity. In 1999, according to the RIAA, album sales by volume peaked at 1.1 billion albums. Since that year, the yearly total volume of albums sold has been on a consistent decrease. As an answer to the drop in album sales, the album equivalent unit was introduced in the mid-2010s. It is a measurement to define the consumption of music that equals the purchase of one album copy. This consumption includes streaming and song downloads in addition to traditional album sales. Beginning with the December 13th, 2014 issue, the Billboard 200 Albums Chart revised its ranking methodology with the album equivalent unit instead of pure album sales. So the album equivalent unit equals to the pure sales plus the TEA plus the SEA. The TEA means the track equivalent albums and is calculated by adding up all the song sales from the album and dividing it by 10. The SEA means the streaming equivalent albums, and it was calculated by adding up all of the audio song streams from the album and dividing it by 1500. This means at that time, one album equivalent unit equals 10 song downloads or 1500 song streams. Taylor Swift's 1989 was the first album to top the chart with this methodology, generating 339,000 album equivalent units with 228,000 units coming off pure album sales. Similarly, in 2016, the RIAA started using album equivalent units for their certifications. In July 2018, Billboard and Nielsen revised their ratios for using streaming equivalent album units to account for the relative value of streams on paid music services like Apple and Amazon Music versus the ad-supported music platforms such as Spotify. Under the updated album equivalent ratios, 1,250 paid audio streams or 3,750 free ad-supported streams are equal to one album unit. In 2019, Billboard announced video and audio data from YouTube along with visual plays from several music streaming services would soon be factored into the Billboard 200. In addition to YouTube, officially licensed video content plays from Apple, Spotify, Tidal, and Vivo would be included in the album charts calculation. The changes took effect with the charts dated January 18th, 2020. The first album to be number one after this change was Roddy Rich's Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial. The merch ticket bundle era ended when, in October 2020, Billboard announced that there will no longer be counting ticket and merch bundles, and the albums will be counted if they are an add-on sale, as most of the physical sales are from vinyl sales. You have a number two album to someone who's selling shirts and merch and selling uh, passes for a tour that's not even announced yet. It feels like you're being tricked. It feels like, you know, someone is playing a game and like beating you at a game as opposed to just selling music. I want to sell music. The first album to top the chart after this rule change was Folklore by Taylor Swift. The change to the usage 
of album equivalent units instead of pure album sales has made artists release albums with excessive track lists like 25 songs, 27 songs, 45 songs. Thank you.